Hi, Leo. Welcome to your October, uh, first two weeks of October weekly forecast or two weeks, two week forecast. Um, <laughs> for those of you who haven't been to my channel, my name is Raquel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much. I, um, appreciate all my, um, supporters, all my subscribers, all everyone who interacts on my channel or, um, just likes my videos. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a general reading for Leo, and this will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They are the most needed messages for Leo. So if it does not resonate with you, please go check below for your other, um, you know, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay. One of those might resonate. Or if not, there are other, plenty of other really good tarot readers on YouTube. Um, you can go ahead and look at the ones that I follow if you want. Um, I follow a pretty, couple, couple of really good ones. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I have to say. Don't give up your power to a reading. Make sure that you alone are making the decisions in your life. Um, you always have the opportunity to change the future. The future is not set in stone because we are humans and we have free will. This is just one possible path, one possible outcome that could happen. It depends on the choices that you make. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to pause this so I can bring the camera down so that we can get on with your reading. I will be putting all my decks in the description box below in case you want to know what decks I'm using. Um, I'm going to be pulling a an overall message for the reading from my Alice in Wonderland Oracle deck. And then I will be giving a tarot reading um, with, my, with my tarot cards and two clarifiers um, from another deck. And then... I will be giving you a card for advice at the end of the reading from my ancestors and angels, or from my angels and ancestors. Oracle deck. All right. So let's get to it. Spirits, my soul family, what's going on for Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first two weeks of October. 2019. Please and thank you, my guides. I greatly appreciate your help. Okay, well, we've got two. Alright. Where is my... We had a crystal on this. Well, all right, so we've got a moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past. Well, this one was first, so let's read this one first. Such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality, coming home. Okay, so some of you might have been like up in fantasy land for too long, maybe partying too much, maybe daydreaming, but not enough action was being taken. And it's like now you're realizing it and now you're trying to write it and, um, you know, feel much better about it. Okay. Then we've got a moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past Fearing you've made a mistake. Okay, so this kind of goes right along with this. It's like you regret being too much in the dream state and not making the right calls on certain things. Um, and now you're looking back at the past and you're pretty much in the same energy, like saying the should-haves, the could-haves, the would-haves, what would happen if I did this or what would happen if I did that? You know what I mean? And not enough grounding, not enough um, practicality or logical thinking going on here. Um, you're too up in your head about certain issues and you're regretting too much of the past. And spirit is saying that they want you to let that go. All right, so let's see what this is about. Let's consult the tarot. 
soul family. My God. What's this about for Leo? Okay. <laughs> I feel like, you know, Aquarius did that too. So you might want to go watch the Aquarius video. Or you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, I feel like a lot of things are coming at you right now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, it's not a lot of things. That's a slippery slope, man. It's a slippery slope that you're dealing with right now. That's what they want me to tell you. It's a slippery slope. Okay, so you're moving on from something, some type of information is coming in. And <laughs> I said Aquarius, but it could be a Gemini. And you know what? I, I did shuffle Geminis differently as well. Um, so you might want to check out the Gemini reading. Um, or You know, just Aquarius or Gemini reading. But um, you're moving on towards something. But I feel like you've been in this, it's like a slippery slope. I don't know why they want me to say that, but they want me to say that. To, it might resonate with one of you out there, but something about a slippery slope or a slippery descend. Um, I feel like you're regretting too much, and it's... It, ah, ah, okay. It's a slippery slope into depression. So make sure you're not over-regretting or over-analyzing, um, like... Or dreaming too much or thinking too much about a past situation because that's going that's a slippery slope into the descent of depression and spirit does not want you to go there one seven of swords someone's being sneaky someone's being sneaky here I feel like someone's stealing your ideas. And I just I just heard they're stealing your ideas because you're not putting that your own ideas into action is what I heard. They're stealing your ideas because you're not putting your own ideas into action. I'm sorry, you know, we've got four wheelers. They were uh, drilling a well in the neighbor. But someone's stealing your ideas and they're making off with them because you're not putting them into action. You're thinking too much on the past and regretting too much of the past. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Don't get caught up and stuck up in regret. All right? Huh. We've got the three. Okay, this um, involves a past life situation or a past lover situation. There's going to be some communication coming in. There's some type of wish fulfillment here. Um. King of Pentacles, so I'd say either a Taurus or, you know, it could be any earth sign, but I'm really getting, um, this person is financially well off. I feel like this has to deal with the third party situation though, because we got the three of cups right here, or it's you guys coming together, you and a past lover coming together at some type of celebration. It's like wish fulfillment for you. And this person has everything. I mean, this person is stable. This person is grounded. This person knows how to help you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like this happens at, a, at like some type of gathering or some type of celebration. And I feel like you are dreaming about them too much and like really wanting to be with them and like, boom, you bump into them somewhere. Uh, I, I, I kind of get part of your celebration, but it could also just be like some little short get together um, and then they show up to it. Um, but with, whatever the case may be here, it's like you're regretting that you didn't take action with it. So somebody else is going to take action with it. You know what I mean? 
That's what I'm getting for some of you. The emperor. So they're asking you to take control of the situation. Don't, and, and you know, for others of you out there, and this is, this is the first, this is the beginning of the first week of October. So others of you out there, other Leos, I feel like this doesn't have to do with the person at all. This has to deal with you dreaming, you fantasizing too much, and you regretting something that you let go of in the past. And it's like you're dreaming and you're fantasizing and you're playing, you're having fun, you're partying. You're not really being serious about this situation. So I feel like this is the need for you to take control of this situation. It's like you're really not being serious about the situation here. We've got Queen of Pentacles that um, is in the middle between the two weeks. Now, this could be, and this, what did I say about Aries? Oh, did I tell you or was that Gemini? I can't remember. But this is this could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Or it could be a um, uh, Capricorn. But either way, there's some type of control that needs to be gained here. You know, Capricorns have good control and good worth ethic as well. So this could be you needing to control your situation. Get your head out of the clouds. Come back down to earth type feel. Queen of Cups. Um, by the end of the first two weeks, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. You are going to know how to give and take. But you know what? Be careful because this could be somebody in your environment that's manipulative because the Queen of Cups is a manipulative person. All right? We've got two queens here, so this could, and we got the three of cups, so this could be a third party situation, um, a third party love situation. You know, we got the emperor and then two queens, so this could be a third party love situation, and it's like you're not really paying attention to it, you're just, you know, going along with it or whatever, but you're regretting how something ended or you're regretting an action that was took. What's influencing the emperor, the page of wands. Okay, so some type of new action or new desire um, that this, the, a new action, new desire that needs to be controlled. Okay, it needs to be controlled. Um, it needs to be handled with care. It needs to be, but it needs to be controlled. Okay, so. What is influencing this uh, queen of pentacles, this Capricorn-like energy, is the six of pentacles. So equal, fair, give and take. Um, it can also mean that you're being drained, that um, you're too giving and you're not getting enough in return. Okay, the queen of pentacles, though, isn't a very giving person. All right, so... You know, the energies I'm getting with this is control over a new passion. Control over a new passion. I feel like this is saying you need to give up some control come mid come midweek between these two weeks here. But in the middle between these two weeks here, you need to give up some control. Page of Pentacles is influencing the Queen of Cups. Okay. You know, I'm seeing pages on both sides, and I'm seeing the six of the pentacles in the middle, and this is also screaming to me of third party. So, don't lose sight of what you need to focus on. Because I feel like what they're telling you, and I feel, Leo, this is going to sound really weird. I don't think you're the emperor. I think you need to embody the emperor-like um, energy there. Um, with this new start, you need to regain control. You need to um, balance yourself out equally. And I feel like there's might be some people in your environment that are not that are not giving to your situation 
or giving to your passion. There's a potential for a new financial start here with the pentacles, okay? But I feel like with the queen of cups, you're still dreaming. You're still dreaming about this new, new start. That's for some of you out there. For others of you out there dealing with the third party situation, I feel like this person is manipulating this other person's finances. And I feel like it's not an equal give and take. I feel like this person is like, um, I feel like this person is the queen of pentacles. I feel like this queen of pentacles is one person. I feel like they're embodying both energies here. Let's see. Let me get some clarifiers and see how these energies connect. Soul family. How do the these four energies right here in the first um, beginning of October, how do they connect? What is their connecting energy here? How do these energies connect? This is a third party situation. We've got broken heart here. All right. So like, it's like a broken heart, a broken, you know, it doesn't really have to be just the heart. It can be your mind. It can be your spirit. It can be, you know, just the breakdown of something, something upset you, something made you emotionally hurt. Okay. And it threw you off balance and it threw you out of control. But I see you regaining that. I see you regaining that within the first like half of the first two weeks of October. It's like you're regaining balance here. Because you have this new desire. Okay. You have this new desire. I feel like this new desire is going to help you heal. You're going to have to work on it. Um, don't push this down too far. You do want to do that shadow work and confront it. Confront the pain. Figure out why it happened and then let it go. To make this new passion come about. Okay? I feel like you need to save your money here. You know? Save your money. Only help those who really truly need to be helped because I feel like you've been, you've helped other people in the past and that's what this is about right here. How do these four energies connect for Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Nine of Swords. We've got the Nine of Swords right here. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that, my son. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. I feel like this queen of pentacles, I feel like it's your coin that's giving you anxiety. This person you're with, I feel is the queen of pentacles. I feel like you have anxiety over picking between two people here. This queen of cups who can emotionally fulfill you and give you a new start. You're afraid to be with that person because this person right here um, helps support you, helps stabilize you. But I feel like this person's too controlling. I feel like this person is embodying emperor-like energy. Yeah, there's anxiety all around these two. And I feel like this is a third-person situation. And I feel like 
at towards the end of October, you are going to make the decision to either pick one of them or walk away from the in, from the um from the whole lot in general. I see you focused more on your coin. And that's making the Queen of Cups look at you. Wanting to pick you. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's get some advice. We're going to get some advice. Soul family. What advice do we have? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for the first two weeks of October, what is the main advice for Leo? Please and thank you, my guides. I'm really getting third party situation. I'm seeing threes everywhere and I'm seeing two other people besides you. One who can offer you a lot of passion is what I heard. And one who can offer you financial stability. That's the thing. And it's hard for you to make the choice. It's hard for you to like weigh out which one is better for you. I feel like one gives you anxiety and one has broken your heart is what I'm getting. And it's like you need to gain control of this. You can't keep living in the clouds with this. Um... You're going to end up regretting. I, I feel like if you don't make a choice and stick to that choice, you're going to end up regretting the person that walks away. I feel like there is a three people involved in this. I And I feel like you are the one that has um, is in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Like, you are picking between two lovers here. All right. What is the advice for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Or, not Cancer, um, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm sorry, Leo. I wish there was something else I could say here. You know, and it could be, it could be, you know, it could be just that, um, if this is not people, um, this could be that you are at war between your finances and your love life. Like you need to balance them better um, come the first two weeks of October because you're trying to control your finances, which is making you anxious. And um, you're trying to control your love life, which has already broken your heart. Okay. Okay. Water guardian, connect with your emotions. Okay, you need to, you need to um, get grounded, connect with your emotions more. Um, you need to use that inner wisdom, that inner intuition um, to pick between these two. Because you know, it's not, I don't necessarily get it's a choice, but I feel like you just got to find more balance in it. Because right now you're living in la la land. And it's time to, like, really gain control of the situation now. Gain control of your emotional and your physical, okay? you got to put your emotional and your physical in balance. Lots of us are getting sixes right now. Um, and sixes speak of, like, some small victory. So... I feel like you get some small victory in your emotions, okay? Like, you can control this. You can let this go. But you need to connect with your emotions and your intuition on how to let it go. Um, I do see you letting it go by the end of the week because I see something new coming in for you. This new start is influencing the Queen of Cups. So if you know a... a I said cancer before, right? Well, it could be a cancer. 
I mean, it's the Queen of Cups, or it could be another water sign. You do got Water Guardian right here. So it could be that you're dealing with a water sign. Or it could be you're dealing with an earth sign because there's a lot of pentacles as well. But, like I said, it's a toss-up between um, cups and pentacles. Like, you know, your physical world and your emotional world. So you got to find balance there. All right. That was confusing as hell. I ain't going to lie. But, um, just know, Leo that whatever it is, you got to get out of that la la land. You got to like become more practical, you know, listen to your emotions, listen to your intuition and think logically about the situation. Okay. Don't be off in like la la land about the situation. Really think practical. Think practical. I think that's what I'm going to name this. Leo, think practical. That's what I'm going to name it <laughs> because it's like you're off in La La Land right now and you can't see all of this stuff that needs to be gained control of. And it's like, I feel like the first two weeks of October, you're really going to be um, trying to gain control of the situation. And if you don't get out of La La Land now, it's going to be even harder in those first two weeks of October to gain control over your emotions and your finances or your physical, your physical world. It's like a balance between the metaphysical and the physical world here at play. I'm not, you know, I, it could be third party. It really could be third party, but you know, what I am getting off of this is just that it's, it's, it's between, you know, your, the metaphysical and the physical. So, that's what you need to worry about, okay, Leo? Well, I'll see you in my next video.